Numerous recent analyses of drug discovery libraries have shown there is often an imbalance in the chemical space that is being sampled and that there is an underrepresentation of three-dimensional compounds. Also, the high levels of attrition in the drug discovery process is being exacerbated by the number of compounds with high lipophilicity and high aromatic ring count. My name is Stephen Chawner and I'm a PhD student at Imperial College London in the Ball Group and I'm in collaboration with Eli Lilly. We aim to develop novel methodology that allows the synthesis of three-dimensional fragments and lead-like compounds for use within drug discovery. We also aim to functionalize intact rings, creating diversity on the cyclic structure as a way of creating a wide number of medicinally relevant compounds. The ring system that I will be talking to you about is the cyclopropane ring, which is of biological relevance in its own right. It's found within a wide number of na natural products and pharmaceutical drugs with a variety of biological activities. It's the 10th most frequently found ring system in small molecule drugs, and when functionalized, it has a distinct three-dimensional structure. So we aimed to develop uh, a cyclopropane-based scaffold, and for this, we generated a novel cobalt catalyzed cyclopropanation. The reaction is scalable, being able to produce multiple grams of material in excellent yields. The catalyst is both air and moisture stable, also doesn't dimerize the diazo compound as an undesirable side reaction. It uses a non-precious metal catalytic center. The diastereoisomers from this reaction are readily separable through simple chromatography, and the enantiomers are separable through chiral HPLC to give the enantiopure uh, scaffolds. D we can functionalize these scaffolds divergently through a number of reactions, including reductions and hydrolyses to the corresponding acids or carboxylate salts, which can then be undergo amidation. We can oxidize the sulfide to the sulfone or the sulfoxide, where the sulfoxide can undergo sulfoxide magnesium exchange, be trapped with a variety of electrophiles, including aldehydes, ketones acid chlorides, isocyanates, disulfides, DMF, molecular iodine, dioxaborolanes, and silyl chlorides. They can also be used in the Geishi cross-coupling and trapped with a variety of aryl or heteroaryl halides. A similar scope can also be achieved with this cis cyclopropyl ester sulfide. Here, when trapped with uh, aldehydes or ketones, occasionally we see the bicyclic structure originating from lactonization. We can also functionalize at both functional handles, creating yet more medicinally relevant compounds. The breadth of the scope for the functional group partners shows that not only is this uh, a rapid way of creating a diverse range of fragments and lead-like compounds for use within drug discovery, it's also a great way of incorporating a functionalized cyclopropane motif into a compound. Thank you for watching this video.